All right, everyone, we are back this year with a playoff prediction video. As you can see, I'm not joined by Keith. He recently had a baby. He didn't have one, but his wife had one. So instead, I am joined by my wife, Jordan. Hello. So if you're new to this format, what we're going to do is basically we are going to take my uh, expert analysis of NASCAR. I'm going to pour through the data and give you the best predictions I can Whereas Jordan, who has watched, what would you say, a combined 20 laps of racing this entire uh, race year so far, this season? Honestly, I don't even think that much. You were kind of glued to the Chicago race. Yeah, the Chicago race, I did enjoy that. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, I don't even know if I've watched a full lap, like, mm -hmm. sat, sat down in front of the like in front of the TV and watched a full lap of racing at one time. So what Jordan's going to do is she's going to take the list of names and faces I've given her and she's going to do her best to just throw uh, darts in the dark to see if she can best me when it comes to these predictions. So we've got a couple of the predictions. We'll go ahead and hop into them. So Jordan, the first one I've got on there is surprise winner. Uh, every year during the playoffs, there is someone not in the playoffs that's sneaking a win. Last year we saw the whole entire first round swept by people who were not in the playoffs. So for this year, you look at the list of drivers not in the playoffs, it's uh, half the list is a list of who's who's. You have Cindric, you have Elliot, you have Bowman. I'm sure you're like, I, I know some of those names. Yes. Um, so I think that it is unfair to pick Chase Elliott because I think that he will definitely win uh, however, people have been saying that for the past 16 weeks or so. Uh, so I'm going to go on a limb, and I'm going to say that Corey LaJoy picks up his first win. <laughs> I think that it could come at Darlington. He was running there a couple years ago really well. Uh, there's Talladega. So I'm going to go on a limb and say that Corey LaJoy picks up the first win for himself, second career win for Spire, and bada bing, bada boom. I laugh because I feel like you just really want Corey LaJoy to win. So maybe you speaking it will speak it into existence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Jordan, who is your pick to spoil the uh, playoffs? Well, I didn't understand the idea of a surprise winner because it's a, Brandon gave me two lists of names and I said, well, why... Why, how, how can somebody win something but not be in the playoffs? It makes zero sense. Still don't know if I fully understand <laughs> it, but I, I think that you would assume by my Smithfield mm -hmm. uh, crew shirt, mm -hmm. I almost said jersey, <laughs> um, by my Smithfield crew shirt that I would choose Eric Almarola. Mm -hmm. I can't even say the guy's <laughs> name. But you would assume that, and I do love bacon, but I think that Daniel Suarez is going to win because mm -hmm. he is muy caliente, if I do say so myself. I think my obsession with Corey the Joy uh, rivals your obsession with Pitbull and Track House. You uh, might be on to something. <laughs> so I think, that's a, I think that's a pretty good pick. I think that he definitely uh, was fast at the Roval. He's been fast on ovals. So whether it's a roval or oval, I think Suarez is a uh, is definitely a risk. I think that's a quality choice. That I you're think doing. that he's just willing to do whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. uh, so next one, it's every year out of the sixteen drivers, there are those that rise to the occasion, and there are those that just kind of just start limping out of the gate. Um, I think that as far as this year, the guy that finishes sixteenth place, I think it's gonna be Tyler Reddick. Uh, when you look at just his season so far, it just seems that if it's not uh, getting caught up in a crash on track, it's the crew either letting a loop, uh, tire get loose uh, or something like that. I just feel like they haven't been able to get on a roll. So I think that Tyler Reddick, unfortunately, he's going to be out the first round of the playoffs. Uh, I think he's going to be uh, 16th. My, my choice... I have absolutely no basis off of uh -huh. anything that you said about tires or crew members or anything. Mm -hmm. I chose Brad Keselowski Ooh. solely because his picture mm -hmm. in the list that you gave me looks like he just stepped in a pile of poop. Mm -hmm. 
so he looks like he's already got like a oh, stink face on. Mm -hmm. So that's why I chose him, that he would come in last. It's a bold choice. He did finish, I believe, fifth in the overall regular season standings. His teammate has won three of the last five races. So I guess it is a bold choice, but maybe, maybe the Lux ran out. Maybe he's foretelling in his picture. I think that's what it is. Maybe. We do love Hawaiian rolls in this family, though, so I, I am rooting for him. Well, we can eat a Hawaiian roll if he is in 16th <laughs> place or if he wins. We'll celebrate or uh, drown our sorrows. Yes. Um, so next up, it's the final four. These are the drivers that are going to uh, punch their tickets and go to Phoenix to race for a championship. Uh, for my final four, I've got Kyle Busch. I think that he's just been there, just consistent all year. I think he's going to make his way to there. I think Truex, there's enough points built up that I think that even if something does go a little haywire, he'll make it. I think Busher, like I just said, he's running, this, uh, uh, running on the strength of three wins. Um, I think he's got momentum. I think he's going to make it to the final four. And I think your final per person in the final four is going to be William Byron. I think he's just shown that he's got speed, he's got luck. I, it's crazy to think he doesn't make it into the final four. Well, if we're going to go off of pictures again, <laughs> I chose mm -hmm. Ryan Blaney okay. and Joey Logano because I think they're kind of cute. Mm -hmm. But, and your dad would probably highly disagree. Yeah, I thought you just pissed <laughs> off most of the people. But, you know, if we're going on looks alone, mm -hmm. which I am, that's who I choose. Okay. And then also Bubba Wallace mm -hmm. because I like Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. That's my name. So. Yeah. And that's what I always tell people whenever I introduce myself. My name is Jordan, like the river and like the basketball player. <laughs> because everybody knows at least one. Mm -hmm. So that I'm choosing that. And then my fourth person is Kyle Busch. So okay. we do have that in common. Okay. Yeah, we've got but one But the only the reason that I chose him is because uh -huh. he looks like our friend Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew up there. <laughs> okay, so I'll, as you can see, we're on track with Kyle Busch, with Bubba Wallace, so he did sneak his way into the playoffs. I think that he, even on points, I think he was like 14th or 15th uh, during the season. Um, so I mean, maybe he, he won at Kansas last year, so if he repeats that, he makes it to the next round. He's good at Talladega, he makes it to the final round. Uh, he's got a truck win at Martinsville, so I think that, I think if he gets on a roll, you could see that. Joy Logano, I think that Joy Logano is most dangerous when he's, uh... Got his glasses on. Yeah, when he's got his glasses <laughs> on. Um, I think I can see him going, getting on a roll. I think Ryan Blaney, so he's the only kind of, uh, probably the most questionable, and it's just because every year they just stumble in the playoffs. Like, they just, each year you think this is the year they're going to go all the way, go for the championship. Even Dell Jr. said that's his choice. So you're in good company with Dell Jr. So I would say I could, I could see a path. I don't think your list is necessarily crazy, but I think that you've just probably pissed off a lot of the fan base. Um, that's what I'm here to do. Uh, so finally, out of those four people that are going to make it to the championship, I think that the champion will be William Byron. Like I said, he's gotten speed, he's gotten luck, uh, he's won on road courses, he's won on drafting tracks. Um, I'm, I'm blanking on the other victories this year so far, but I mean, I can't think of a, I can't think of a track in the playoffs that I'm like, oh, he's probably not going to do something there. Uh, you've only got two Hendrick cars in the playoffs, so now you've got the, all the resources being poured into that. Uh, I think he's going to punch his ticket early to the playoffs, or, or to um, uh, uh, Phoenix, and I think he's going to walk away with the championship this year. Well, boy howdy do I have a plot twist. Mm -hmm. My champion is Ross Chastain. <laughs> There's a story. Uh -huh. Do you want to hear the story? I do. Okay, so Dak Shepard is going uh -huh. to be buying a, a race team. He's going to be partnering with a race team. Uh -huh. And that race team is Trackhouse. 
what better ways to join all things that Jordan loves? Mm -hmm. Pitbull and Dak Shepard. So, the reason why Dak Shepard bought into this race team mm -hmm. is because at the last second, Ross Chastain, he had mm -hmm. to outdo what he did last time where he went backwards around the track. In the final second uh -huh. of the race, yeah. there was a huge wreck. And yes, those, those final four were the final four in the last lap. Uh -huh. However, all things up in the air, including Ross Chastain, he flew through the air, uh -huh. and at the last second, the tip of his race car went over the finish line while he was in the air. So that's how he's going to win. Jordan, out of, so out of all of that, the, the problem I think that I need you to kind of explain is I know it was explained in the playoffs, uh, I guess because I just assumed that it was a common knowledge that the final four are usually the final four people left to race for a championship. But the fi I took it as the uh -huh. final four in the final lap of that race. Okay. That's how I took it. So th those final four are not your championship final four. No. Who do you think the four people going into the last race with an opportunity to win the championship will be then? Um, I guess Ross Chastain for definite okay. because he won the race. Okay. Um, honestly, I feel like all of the people that are on that wild card list mm -hmm. of the, the surprise winners, yeah. they're going to bump up Yeah. and they're going to be in the final four. But, so so Corey LaJoy will be in the final four. But what you're saying is impossible. No, it's not. It's only impossible if you think about it. So you're it. saying that when the final race comes around, NASCAR is basically going to say, listen, we know that we said these four people would race for a championship, but hey, bump that. We're going to let everyone race. Whoever wins this race takes home the championship. We're tired of this final four nonsense. It's a free-for-all. Maybe I just reinvented NASCAR. So I think that you, you both, that was your story and your champion all together, was yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Well, I will say that my story uh, lives in reality a little bit more. And that well, is I that don't. I believe that alongside William Byron uh, taking home the championship, the driver's championship, I believe Chase Elliott will take home the owner's championship in the number nine car. So Hendrick will win both championships, however, it'll be William Byron bringing home the Drivers' Championship and Chase Elliott bringing home the Owners' Championship. So. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to see. You guys can let us know in the comments uh, what your thoughts are. Let me know if you think I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let us know what your thoughts, what your outlooks are, whether you are an expert, whether you have never watched a NASCAR race in your life. Uh, let us know what you think, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you enjoy the next uh, 10 weeks of racing. So thank you very much, and boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys!